Hello everyone, back with another one of these thrift store pickups videos. Uh, I had a few days in a row where I went and was finding nothing. Some really bad trips that obviously, you know, I don't film when I find next to nothing. Uh, just yesterday went out and left empty-handed. Empty-handed. Uh, if you're just looking for yourself, that happens all the time. But when you're running a store on top of looking for stuff for yourself, there's always something there that you know someone's going to want that's sellable. Not yesterday. I mean, the place was just vacant and I only went to the one you know, stop, so it was not a good day. This morning, much better after a little while. First went into the thrift store, went a couple places today. First went into my you know, favorite spot and there was a lot of stuff left over from yesterday which is already just junk. So there was just very little, one or two bins they had brought out probably after I left yesterday that were there. Found a couple quick things. One book find, no toys, no video games, nothing. Only one book find because it was just the same stuff that was there yesterday. But I did find this Masters of Horror paperback. That was it for books. Uh, I found one 8-track, which we normally don't bother picking up. This is something a little curious and worth a lot more than what I paid for it, at least. But the Guinness Book of World Records. Fascinating little thing there. Um, uh, one looks like a propaganda DVD, America's Godly Heritage. And one Blu-ray, a 3D Blu-ray of Piranha 3D. So, that was about it. Then, luckily, after a while, they brought some new stuff out. So that was good, and I found a few things the other place I went, so it made out much better. I was a little worried when I went out at first. Uh, but it started going with a decent number of DVDs and Blu-rays, and I'll leave my favorite finds of the day for last. And, uh, I, was, well, I was wearing the right shirt. Here, here's a hint. I was wearing the right shirt today. Uh, good luck. First thing that I found was a couple of movie collections. This is one of the newer Rocky Six film collections. It has you know, Rocky 1 through 5 and Rocky Balboa in a very you know, slim case. Definitely one of those kind of like space saver sets. They're all on their own disc. Thankfully, it's one good thing. One bad thing is Rocky 3, 4, and 5 are all on flipper discs, which I hate because it's so much you know, easier to scratch and things. But it, you know, Balboa and Rocky 1 and 2 are on just normal you know, single side discs. But overall, as considering it's all six Rocky movies, on one very thin collection that's a pretty cool find uh, this one this will be for us we'll replace copies that we have this is the Planet of the Apes trilogy the new Planet of the Apes movies and we have all three of these individually so I'm gonna you know replace I'm gonna sell our individual copies and replace it with this to, you know because they're still on the same three individual discs so might as well have one spot on the shelf rather than three for the same thing uh, this is a family multi-feature Looney Tunes superstars 45 classic cartoons. So it looks like we have some Foghorn Leghorn and Bugs Bunny and Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote. So I'm going to have to look at this and see what exactly is on here because I found a couple of these before, ones that I've put up on the store and things like that where they kind of trick you a little bit where the picture on the back will be from you know, a classic cartoon and then when you put it in and play there's, say, ten cartoons, and one of them is a good old classic cartoon, and the rest are like very recent, very poorly done CGI ones. And just so hopefully this looks like it's going to be all actual, like real, like classic cartoons. But I have to put it in and check it out because sometimes those could be tricky. Uh, a couple of Blu-ray finds. So this one will be for us. The uh, Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad Blu-ray DVD copy. So that's one that's on our list to grab for Disney we didn't get. Uh, when I was very excited and a little disappointed when I found it, but I still grabbed it because it was bargain rooms. So it was worth, you know, like it was uh, maybe paid 50 cents. But it is Cosmos uh, Space Time Odyssey. This is the newer one, not the original. This is the one with Neil deGrasse Tyson on Blu ray. Complete series. Great, except missing one of the discs, disc one. But I figure for like 50 cents, it has discs two, three, and four. For a couple of bucks, I should be able to find disc one. A lot of people sell, you know, just replacement discs and things like that. So pay, you know, four or five bucks to get uh, disc one and then have the whole thing. So that'll be good. Uh, a, a, I hesitate to say good, but enjoyable for me. Uh, 80s horror movie, kind of horror, it's never really scary, but based off the book by Stephen King, starring a very young Drew Barrymore. Not long after E.T., we have Firestarter. So, interesting movie I've not seen in many years since VHS, so that's really cool. And this is my second favorite find of the day because it completes a set for us, so it's going to be another one of those collection videos coming eventually. I still have a few more I haven't done, I just have not kept up with those as we finish out a lot of things. But we had our complete collection of 
Angel, we finished Angel, and we were one set shy of finishing Buffy. Well, now we finished Buffy, season five of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Great, great show. Uh, still one I enjoy to this day. I think Amanda said the other day we were talking about it. I think she, over time, has come to prefer Angel overall. Um, I prefer Buffy. I think, um, you know, we'll talk about it and whatever, but I think that she's probably going to say that she prefers first couple seasons when they're in high school, Buffy, then Angel, then the rest of Buffy. That's how I'm thinking she's going to say you know, over the years how that's changed. For me, I just really like Buffy. I like Angel. Uh, it has some great storylines over the years, but... I will always be a bigger Buffy fan. Now for the coolest finds of the day. These were great. Um, these were at the second place I went to, which I, where I found all those super expensive PS1 games, which we finally sold the last one of those a couple weeks ago. And again, that's a place that's normally not worth your time. Normally just a total wreck. But because of that one time, one time out of like 50 that I've been there, where I made a ton of money, found great stuff, I still check back all the time now. Uh, just in case and I've probably since finding those ps1 games that was beginning of May I've probably been back there about 15 times and 13 or 14 of those 15 I'm trying to remember I left with nothing just walked out within five minutes because it's such a crappy place that was just such a fluke but today he found really good uh, stuff you know not that not quite amount uh, or anything like that but cool stuff for us I found uh, Star Trek 4, The Voyage Home, the one of the two disc collector's editions. We're trying to get the whole series of this and we're trying to, you know, find them out in the wild. And now we're only missing one of these. We'll, otherwise, we'll have all the Star Trek movies in this release line. And this set, which I think is awesome, I've always really liked this set. I had uh, season one of this back when they very, very first came out, like before, you know, I left for college and all that stuff. But the uh, original box set DVD releases of Star Trek, the original series, found seasons one and three. I searched everywhere for season two to see if they had it with the blue case. Did not see it anywhere. Uh, just a little scuffed up, some like little marks. I cleaned them off because they're a little dirty, so I cleaned them off before doing the video. But otherwise, the, I mean, the discs look perfect. Just the boxes were a little dirty, a little scuffed up, but great from this you know time period where including you know, the HD DVD release eventually and the things of Enterprise for a while a lot of these Star Trek sets they like look really cool but functionally they're just not <laughs> the greatest I mean if you lose this thing it has a flat bottom but it's still fairly rounded and just doesn't sit nicely on a shelf and then of course you know to open it up you have to open it up from the sides it comes apart like a weird clam shell thing here and then this is in there you pull it out so Functionally kind of weird, but aesthetically really cool, and I really like these as the copies of the original way that the show was shown. I really like switching back and forth between the remasters and the original. I like both for totally different reasons, and I have a lot of episodes on Laserdisc, uh, the original and the remaster on um, HD DVD and like a Blu-ray collection and things like that. But yeah, it's really cool to finally have these. I just never have run into them in the wild. I haven't seen these. Uh, for years, these sets. I just have not come across them anymore. These kind of disappeared. So I really wanted to get all three seasons in this set. So it's cool to have one and three. Um, my, my favorite season and my least favorite season. I think a lot of people like season two overall the most, but one's always been my favorite. Uh, so yeah, eventually we'll get season two and have that whole set. So that was really, really cool. Very, very happy to find these. They were, um, they had them where these were $14 a piece. So a lot more than I typically spend at a thrift store, but for two seasons of Star Trek, that's really good. Uh, especially nowadays, some of those older sets are very hard to find, you know, unless you're kind of like going online and you paying a lot of money. Uh, so really, really exciting. So much better. Like I said, I had a couple really disappointing days uh, finding stuff, but at least it's been good that we've had a ton of stuff in our, you know, death pile and backlog inventory to sell and that kind of stuff and finding some other things. Uh, just yesterday, I went through uh, some of my stuff and just went through I have a big bin of old toys like He-Man and Star Wars and whatever and there are a lot of ones from when I was a kid where I have tons of just loose weapons and things like that not anything that's particular to a certain character just random weapons and I just put together yeah, just grabbed basically a handful of old Masters of the Universe you know 80s you know, weapons put them up on a lot an hour later they sold for like 30 something bucks so like that kind of stuff has been doing uh, really well so even when you have those days where you don't find a whole lot it doesn't last forever. You're going to hit a day. You know, don't, don't be disheartened, even though the, during the day it sucks. You're going to find good stuff again, and you know, it just comes and goes. Same thing with you know sales, high and low, and 
whatever but it's been really good uh, I'm trying not to like die from the heat sweating like crazy or air conditioning going uh, going out this evening a little bit because we hit with another heat wave hopefully you guys aren't having to deal with all that it's been crazy just I mean everywhere it doesn't matter where you live it's been nuts the past month or so the place has just been hammered by crazy heat we got hit a few weeks ago where it was just awful and then we had a reprieve thankfully for roughly a week where temperatures dipped down to high 70s low 80s um, and now it's shooting back up to like 100 something again uh, thankfully we're gonna get some storms and they'll clear out and dip a little bit later in the week still like high 80s and low 90s but uh, yeah it's just but it just keeps rolling and rolling the summer it just gets hotter and hotter all the time it's been miserable but hopefully you know fall and winter will come sooner rather than later hopefully we will not have this prolonged like sometimes in through september it just spikes the heat hopefully that won't happen this year so, uh thankfully um yeah it could be inside with the functioning air conditioning finally got that fixed after that whole mess so i hope you guys are having a great week and i will see you again